What you see here is a collective claims map, which is a dynamic map of claims co cooperatively generated by many hand, watched by many eyes and continuously changing. This is the result of the open deliberation model supported by Cohere. This map is structured by an ongoing unmoderated debate and potentially can involve always new participants. It is what we call a social semantic network. The social aspect is highlighted by visualizing the author of the claims by showing his picture. The social semantic network provided by Cohere, unlike normal social networks, make explicit how two users are connected and describe the semantic of the connection. In example, let's zoom on one connection. In this map, we can see that Anna and Andrea are actually related by a green link. Unlike other social networks, the social semantic network supported by Cohere show what kind of semantic, what's the meaning of the relationship between Anna and Andrea, and in particular that the question raised by Anna is actually consistent with an answer given by Andrea. So by looking at the different author images and the different icons associated to the claims that the two people are doing, together with the semantic of the link that connect the two claims, users are able to make sense of what's the meaning of the relations between these two authors. We can also decide just to focus on the conceptual network of claims and hide the author image. There may be situation in which anonymity matter and therefore what we want to show is just the concept and how they relate and construct meaning. Let's stick again the author image. If we zoom out we see that if the network is big it's actually difficult to understand and make sense of the different conversation going on between the participants at the same time. So to support exploration and sense making, Cohere provides semantic filtering. We can filter the social semantic network by link type. To focus on a topic, we just click on it and it is highlighted in yellow. In example, let's focus on this question. Cohere supports filtering and you can filter by either choosing a link type from here by ticking the link type you're interested in on this list of positive, neutral and negative link or you can choose by preset type of links such as in example analogy, consistency, contrast and so on. When I click on go, I can see that I obtain a smaller map, much easier to navigate and make sense of. This function helps to reduce the user's cognitive overload in processing complex graphs and it supports them in focusing and making sense of specific issues. Now let's go back to the general discussion by simply refreshing the page. We can summarize that uh, in this video we have shown how Cohere support an open deliberation model by enabling the creation of collective claims maps, which are dynamic maps of claims cooperatively generated and continuously changing. Finally, we have also shown how, by providing semantic connections filtering, Cohere supports exploration, analysis and sense-making about the emerging discourse that is going on.